the processes used in Alberta, Canada for oil and gas production, a detailed scientific explanation. Alberta, Canada, is home to one of the largest and most significant oil reserves in the world. The province's oil sands, also known as tar sands, contain vast amounts of bitumen, a thick, heavy form of crude oil. Extracting and processing this bitumen into usable fuel is a complex and technologically intensive process. Alberta's oil sands industry employs several extraction methods, with steam-assisted gravity drainage sag being one of the most prominent. This article provides a comprehensive, detailed overview of the key processes used in Alberta for oil and gas production, focusing on SAG, along with other methods like cyclic steam stimulation CSS, and mining. Overview of Alberta's oil sands. Alberta's oil sands are a mixture of bitumen, sand, water, and clay. These deposits are located primarily in three areas, the Athabasca, Cold Lake, and Peace River regions. The Athabasca oil sands, near Fort McMurray, are the most developed and have the most significant concentration of bitumen. Bitumen is a viscous, tar-like substance that cannot flow or be pumped from the ground in its natural state. This makes it challenging to extract and process. As a result, specialized techniques have been developed to recover and upgrade bitumen into synthetic crude oil which can then be refined into gasoline, diesel, and other petroleum products. Surface mining. Surface mining is one of the two primary methods used to extract bitumen from oil sands, and it is typically employed when the deposits are less than 75 meters below the surface. The process is similar to traditional open pit mining, but is uniquely adapted to the challenges of oil sands extraction. 1. Overburden removal. The first step in surface mining is the removal of overburden, which consists of the soil, rocks, and vegetation covering the oil sands deposit. This material is typically stored for later use in land reclamation. 2. Excavation and Transportation Once the overburden is removed, large shovels or bucket wheel excavators are used to dig up the oil sands. These materials are loaded onto massive haul trucks which can carry up to 400 tons per load. The oil sands are then transported to a processing facility for further treatment. 3. Extraction At the processing facility, the oil sands are mixed with hot water to create a slurry, which helps to separate the bitumen from the sand and other materials. This mixture is then pumped into a series of separation vessels, where the bitumen floats to the top and is skimmed off, while the sand settles to the bottom. Four. Bitumen upgrading. The extracted bitumen is still too thick and heavy to be transported through pipelines, so it undergoes an upgrading process. This typically involves either thermal cracking coking or hydrogen addition hydroprocessing to break down the large, complex hydrocarbon molecules in the bitumen into light, more fluid components. The result is synthetic crude oil, which can be refined into various petroleum products. Surface mining is an efficient way to extract bitumen from shallow deposits, but it is also environmentally intensive, as it requires large-scale land disturbance and significant water use. Therefore, it is only used when the bitumen is relatively close to the surface. In situ extraction methods, for deeper oil sands deposits, which account for approximately 80% of Alberta's reserves, in situ extraction methods are used. The term in situ means in place, referring to the process of extracting bitumen without removing the surrounding earth. The two most common in situ methods are steam-assisted gravity drainage SAG and cyclic steam stimulation CSS, steam-assisted gravity drainage SAG. Steam-assisted gravity drainage SAG is the most widely used in situ method in Alberta. Developed in the 1970s and 1980 seconds, SAGD has revolutionized the oil sands industry by making it economically viable to extract bitumen from deep, previously inaccessible deposits. 1. Basic Principles of SAGD SAGD relies on the injection of steam into the oil sands reservoir to reduce the viscosity of the bitumen, allowing it to flow more easily. The process involves drilling two parallel horizontal wells into the bitumen deposit typically between 300 to 500 meters below the surface. The two wells are positioned one above the other, 
with a vertical separation of about 5 meters. The upper well, known as the injection well, is used to inject high-pressure steam into the reservoir. The lower well, called the production well, is positioned to collect the heated, liquefied bitumen as it flows downward due to gravity. 2. The SAG process, steam injection. Steam is generated at the surface by burning natural gas in large boilers. The steam is then injected into the upper well, where it enters the oil sands formation. The heat from the steam raises the temperature of the bitumen, reducing its viscosity and allowing it to flow. Bitumen drainage. As the bitumen heats up and becomes less viscous, it drains downward, aided by gravity into the lower production well. The mixture of bitumen and condensed water steam is then pumped to the surface. Separation and processing. At the surface, the bitumen water mixture is sent to a separation facility, where the water is removed and recycled back into the steam generation process. The bitumen is then either upgraded to synthetic crude oil or blended with lighter hydrocarbons to create a transportable product known as diluted bitumen or dilbit. 3. Efficiency and environmental considerations. SAG is considered more efficient and environmentally friendly compared to surface mining. It disturbs less land, requires less water per barrel of oil produced, and generates fewer greenhouse gas emissions. However, the process is still energy intensive due to the need for continuous steam generation, which requires large amounts of natural gas. Efforts are ongoing to improve the efficiency of SAGD operations, including research into alternative steam generation technologies and methods to reduce water use. Cyclic Steam Stimulation CSS Cyclic Steam Stimulation CSS, also known as Huff and Puff, is another in situ extraction method used in Alberta. CSS was one of the first thermal recovery methods applied to oil sands and is particularly useful for reservoirs that are not well suited for SAD. 1. The CSS process, CSS operates in a series of cycles, each consisting of three main phases. Steam injection huff. In the first phase, high pressure steam is injected into a single vertical or horizontal well for several weeks or months. The steam heats the surrounding bitumen, reducing its viscosity. Soak phase. After the steam injection is complete, the well is shut in, allowing the heat to permeate the reservoir and further reduce the bitumen's viscosity. This phase typically lasts for several weeks. Production puff. In the final phase, the well is reopened and the heated bitumen flows to the surface. The production phase continues until the flow rate declines, at which point the cycle is repeated. 2. Advantages and Challenges CSS is a flexible process that can be applied to a wide range of reservoir conditions. It is particularly effective in reservoirs with high permeability and thick pay zones. However, CSS is less efficient than SAGD in terms of steam usage, and the production rates can be more variable. Additionally, the cyclic nature of the process can lead to higher operating costs and more frequent maintenance requirements. Solvent-assisted processes. To address some of the environmental and economic challenges associated with steam-based recovery methods, the industry has been exploring solvent-assisted processes as an alternative or complement to steam. These methods involve the injection of solvents such as propane, butane, or light hydrocarbons into the reservoir to reduce the viscosity of bitumen. 1. Solvent-Aided SAG, SA SAG. SA SAG is an enhancement of the traditional SAG process. In SA SAG, a small amount of solvent is co-injected with the steam. The solvent helps to further reduce the viscosity of the bitumen, allowing it to flow more easily. This process has the potential to reduce steam to oil ratio soar, which can lower greenhouse gas emissions and water usage. 2. N-Solve Process The N-Solve process is a pure solvent recovery method that uses no steam. Instead, it injects warm solvents into the reservoir, where they dissolve the bitumen and allow it to flow to the production well. The N-Solve process is still in the experimental stage, but it offers the promise of significantly lower greenhouse gas emissions and reduced energy consumption compared to steam-based methods.
Cold heavy oil production with sand chops Cold heavy oil production with sand chops is another method used to extract bitumen and heavy oil in Alberta, primarily in areas where the reservoir is too shallow or too thin for thermal recovery methods like SAG or CSS. 1. The Chops Process Chops involves the production of heavy oil along with sand from unconsolidated formations. In this process, sand is allowed to flow with the oil to the surface, creating channels and increasing the permeability of the reservoir. These channels, known as wormholes, help to improve the flow of oil to the wellbore. 2. Challenges and Environmental Impact While chops can be an effective recovery method, it has some challenges. The production of large volumes of sand can lead to wellbore stability issues and require significant surface handling and disposal of the produced sand. Additionally, the environmental impact of chops, particularly the disposal of sand and the potential for subsidence, needs to be carefully managed. Emerging technologies and the future of oil sands production. As the oil sands industry continues to evolve, there is a growing emphasis on developing new technologies that can improve efficiency, reduce environmental impact, and lower costs. Some of the emerging technologies being explored include 1. Electromagnetic heating Electromagnetic heating involves the use of radio frequency RF or microwave energy to heat the bitumen inside it. This method has the potential to reduce the need for water and steam, making it a more environmentally friendly option. Research and pilot projects are ongoing to determine the feasibility of large-scale deployment. 2. Oxidative steam injection. Oxidative steam injection is a process that combines steam injection with the injection of oxygen or air. The oxygen reacts with the bitumen to create heat through low temperature oxidation, reducing the need for external steam generation. This method is still in the experimental stage, but it could offer a way to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and improve energy efficiency. 3. Enhanced oil recovery ear techniques. Enhanced oil recovery ear techniques such as polymer flooding, CO2 injection, and chemical flooding are being adapted for use in the oil sands. These methods aim to increase the recovery factor of bitumen from the reservoir, making it possible to extract more oil from existing fields. Environmental and social considerations The extraction of bitumen from Alberta's oil sands has significant environmental and social impacts. The industry has made strides in reducing its environmental footprint, but challenges remain. 1. Greenhouse gas emissions. The production of bitumen is energy intensive, resulting in high levels of greenhouse gas emissions. Efforts to reduce emissions include improving the efficiency of steam generation, adopting solvent assisted processes, and exploring carbon capture and storage CCS technologies. 2. Water usage and management. Water is a critical resource in oil sands production, particularly for steam generation. The industry has made progress in reducing water usage and increasing the recycling of produced water. However, managing water resources and minimizing the impact on local ecosystems remain ongoing challenges. 3. Land reclamation. Surface mining operations have a significant impact on the landscape requiring large-scale land reclamation efforts. Companies are required by law to restore disturbed land to a natural or economically productive state. Reclamation involves replacing overburden, replanting vegetation, and monitoring the recovery of ecosystems. 4. Indigenous rights and community engagement. The development of oil sands resources often occurs on or near indigenous lands. Ensuring that indigenous communities are consulted and that their rights are respected is a critical aspect of responsible resource development. Many companies have established partnerships with indigenous communities, providing opportunities for employment, training, and economic development. Conclusion The production of oil and gas from Alberta's oil sands is a complex and multifaceted process that has evolved significantly over the past century. From the early days of surface mining to the development of advanced in situ methods like SAG and CSS, the industry has continuously adapted to meet the challenges of extracting bitumen from some of the world's most challenging reservoirs. As the industry moves forward, 
the focus is increasingly on improving efficiency, reducing environmental impact, and addressing the social implications of oil sands development. Emerging technologies, such as solvent-assisted processes and electromagnetic heating, offer the potential to further transform the industry, making it more sustainable and resilient in the face of global energy challenges. The story of Alberta's oil sands is one of innovation and adaptation, but it is also a story of balance finding a way to meet the world's energy needs while minimizing the impact on the environment and respecting the rights and aspirations of local communities. As the industry continues to evolve, it will play a critical role in shaping the future of energy production in Canada and beyond.